Okay, a solenoid 4 cm in diameter and 20 cm long has 250 turns and carries a current of 15 ampere. Calculate the magnetic flux through the circular cross sectional area of the solenoid. Okay, so here uh, we have a solenoid. Uh, we want to find magnetic flux through a, a certain area from the solenoid. Okay, maybe I can draw it out first the solenoid. Okay, this is the solenoid. Okay, so uh, a cross section area that means uh, maybe just take uh, just a cross section area out of this. Uh, maybe out of this part. Okay, cross section area, just one area. Yeah, maybe okay, let me draw it. Uh, yeah, just this this area, cross section area. Yeah, yeah. So maybe just this one area only. Ah, so it should be. I think it should be the at the middle lah. What I can say this cross section area. Uh, okay, this circular cross section area should be at the middle of solenoid. Middle of solenoid. Yeah. So. We know that a uh, solenoid with current flowing must uh, produce magnetic field, isn't it? Uh, and what's the formula to find the magnetic field by solenoid? Yeah, uh, the formula for magnetic field by solenoid. Okay, the magnetic field formula is mu naught mu naught n i, where n is total turns divided by total length. Uh, so it can uh, become a mu naught and i over l. <coughs> okay. Ah. So uh, this is the magnetic field for the middle. Ah, uh, this one is at the middle lah. Okay. Uh, because if uh, magnetic field, yeah, uh, this at the middle, the magnetic field uh, is mu naught and i. Uh, but if the in the end. Uh, the magnetic field at the end is half mu naught and i, half mu naught and i. Ah, uh, so uh, but I think we just take the the one in the middle. Okay, the cross sectional area should be at the middle because he didn't mention uh he didn't mention anything about at the end or at the middle. So by default it should be at the at the middle lah. Should be at the middle lah. Okay, uh, yeah. this should be, this one should be at the middle. So we take the so okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So we want to find magnetic flux. Alright. Want to find magnetic flux. Uh, uh, that is phi. Yeah? Uh, no, no linkage. Yeah? No linkage because just one area. Yeah? Just, uh, just uh, consider one area. Or we can say only uh, one area. Lah. One area. That means the number of turns is equal to one. Number of turns is equal to one. Only, because only one area. Yeah? If you have multiple areas multiple coil uh, multiple area uh, then you multiply n uh, but this one is considered just one area just one area so the n is equal to one okay so uh, so the magnetic flux is um uh we want to find magnetic flux okay so magnetic flux is phi lah okay phi uh, which is uh phi equal to b a cos Theta. Okay. Uh, so now uh, we want to find one by one magnetic field. We can find from this formula magnetic field at the middle. Okay. So okay, substitute the mu naught mu naught value you can get from the list of constant. Right. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Mu naught you can find from the list of constant permeability constant mu naught four pi exponent negative seven. Yeah. Four pi exponent negative seven. So all right, four pi exponent negative seven, and then total turns is uh, two hundred and fifty turns, and current is uh, fifteen ampere. Okay, uh, L length is uh, twenty cm long. Yeah, uh, twenty cm long. So is um, uh, change to meter. Uh, so divide by hundred is zero point two meter. Okay, so I got. So what's the magnetic field uh, provided at the middle? So let's find out.
Okay, so the answer is a uh, magnetic field provided in the middle is 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 3562. Yeah, Tesla. Yeah, this is the magnetic field at the middle. 23562. Okay, that's correct. So, um, uh, I got the magnetic field already. Area. Okay, this cross section area, I have the diameter. Okay, I have the diameter over here. So this is the diameter. Um, uh, I can find the cross sectional area. The area. Uh, so the area. So find find the area. Okay, that area. This area. I want to find this area. So area is a uh, pi r square, or is pi diameter square over four. Pi diameter square over four. So diameter is a uh, four centimeter. Change to meet. Change to meter is divided by hundred. Zero point zero four. Uh, divided by 100, 0 0.04, okay, uh, square, and then divide by uh, 4, uh, so what do I get? So this area is uh, pi times uh, 0 0.04 uh, square divided by 4, okay, so the, un the area is 1.25, Six six uh one point two five six six uh exponent negative three meter square okay uh all right so um all right so so magnetic flux through that area this one area we don't use uh NBA cos theta yeah we don't use the the one the magnetic flux linkage NBA cosine theta <coughs> uh, we, we, we don't have we don't use this one huh? uh, we, we, we don't use this one huh? we don't use this one okay uh, yeah we know that uh, this one has n isn't it um, but you see there's only one area yeah one area uh, so so uh, that's why this one is if you have multiple areas uh, this, one, this one if you have multiple area uh, this one is only one area understand uh, one area i know the solenoid has many turns right many turns but that many turns is uh but that many turns this one that many turns is responsible is responsible for providing the magnetic field the magnetic field strength understand uh, the number of turns here is responsible for providing the magnetic field strength okay uh, but the area is still just one area yeah n is still equal to one ah uh, yeah for this one the n here is equal to one because only uh considered one area so we want to find magnetic flux magnetic flux uh through one area only uh, one area uh, just one area okay uh so uh okay so uh area i got ready okay theta what about the theta what is the angle theta? Okay, so area is cross section area. So let's draw the magnetic field line. Magnetic field line. Okay, so solenoid has magnetic field line. And say is uh what's the magnetic field line? Okay, uh magnetic field. So it should be this way. Uh, this one magnetic field line. Ah, see that? Ah, so you see, then this is the magnetic field. Ah, uh, this is the magnetic field. Uh, direction, magnetic field direction, and this is the cross section area. Uh, I can, what I can say is, is like, maybe I redraw the diagram. Okay, this is the magnetic field line at the middle. Okay, at the middle of uh solenoid. Okay, at the middle of solenoid. This is the magnetic field direction and the cross section area uh, this is the cross section area uh, okay the cross section area uh, from the side view uh, uh, cross section area uh, this is the cross section area and um this is the what well, can say this is the area lah. okay so what is the normal line because we want to find the theta we always take the the angle between normal line and magnetic field uh, so the normal line is 
Ah, this one, this the area, the normal. Understand? Ah, the normal. So, the angle theta is 0. 0 degree. Ah, understand? Because this theta, okay, uh, this theta uh, is always the angle between, angle between what? Normal, normal or the vector A and Eric view. Ah, it's always between the normal, between the normal and magnetic view. Understand? Ah, okay. So, alright. So, um, the theta is zero. Okay. So, okay. Let's find out. Huh? So, what's a phi? Phi is equal to uh, B A cos theta. So, let's uh, substitute all the value. We got 0 0.023562 Tesla. Multiply area is 1.2566 exponent negative 3. Okay. Maybe uh, put it a little bit down here. Okay. Um, okay. So, and then uh, cosine. And go a little bit top. Okay, that'll be good. Cosine what? Cosine zero. Uh, cosine zero is equal to cosine zero equal to one. Ah, uh, equal to one. Actually, this is the maximum flux. Ha, you see, it's a maximum flux because cos, cos 0, cos 0 equal to 1. So, it's maximum flux. Okay. So, uh, let's find out the value. Let's uh, multiply. 1.2566 exponent negative 3 multiplied by uh, 0 0.023562. Okay. The answer is 2.96. Uh, 2.96 exponent negative 5 verbal uh, that's the answer okay uh, or you want to put it as tesla meter square also can you see because why because why the, the unit is tesla meter square because you see uh, the, the based on the formula verbal uh, magnetic field a area med, uh, flux is verbal but then the magnetic field is magnetic field is tesla and if you use Tesla, and then the area is meter square. Ah, so and then cosine theta has no unit. Ah, so you can put as verbal or you can put as Tesla meter square also can. Okay, so it has two kind of unit. So flux has two unit. Flux you can put as verbal or you can put as Tesla meter square. Okay, so that's all for this question. So the answer is uh, two point nine six exponent negative five. Wobble. Uh, that's correct. Okay. So that's it for this question. Bye.